Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, March 31st, 2018. Uh, last day of March. Tomorrow will be April 1st. So, a couple people asked me with these solar lights, I got them flipped over so that they're charging right now. It's uh, DI or no, D dot light. So, if you want to look that up online, I'm sure they have a website where you can get them. They are absolutely awesome, I'm going to tell you what. Uh, so I got them outside right now charging up with the sun. Uh, it's a little overcast now. It's funny because earlier today it was absolutely crystal clear blue skies. Uh, they did say it was going to cloud up this afternoon. It's about 3 o'clock right now. Uh, it's been a real good day solar wise so far. Uh, we've pulled in uh, 3.9 I think so far kilowatt hours so uh, could break our record of 4.4 so far for the year I don't know yet we'll see what happens but uh, so I finally I decided uh, I pulled off that part section of the gutter I'm gonna leave this up like I said for right now uh, until I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna bend that up a little bit more though I got to do that but uh, I'm gonna leave this up until the fall and then I'm gonna take it down completely the blocks down here at the end, I'm going to take them out. i got to get wood putty first, so I don't want to take them out until I have wood putty. I'll show you that if you can, so you can see. I'm going to take these right out, and uh, I'll uh, fill the holes in with wood putty. So, But I'm going, to, I'm going to get some wood putty first. I didn't get that yet. but uh, So I'll pull those off, do that. On the back side... I fixed part of it, which is over uh, where where we come out the back door, but the other part, the the, um, the gutters are down, so so we don't have to walk out during the summer and get completely soaked with water falling off on us, and it'll still be some water coming in. Now over here it won't be, but on the back side it'll still put water into the storage tank. So, and I'm just going to use that for the gardens this year. So anyway, before I forget about it, I want to talk about it real quick. Um, today's the last day where you can get 20% off with Legacy. If you're interested, you want to get long-term food storage, uh, they're a really good company to go with. Uh, GMO free. The portion sizes are half again bigger than anybody else's portion sizes. So, um, and you can right now using the code MEAT20, you can get 20% off of any purchase and that ends after today so if you're interested and want to get that last you know discount in before the end of the month now would be the time to do it i will have the link down below in the description and uh, the i'll have the code in there as well it's meet 20 so you can get 20 percent off any purchases right now so um, if you're interested in doing that that would be the good time to do it okay so i just want to let you guys be aware of that uh, so if you're interested like i said Long-term food storage should definitely be part of your preps. Uh, Freeze-dried food is definitely a good way to go. Uh, like I said, you buy it, you don't even have to think about it. You have it and it's just there. You don't have to worry about rotation or anything else. Now, should you have canned goods? Absolutely. Should you have uh, you know, stuff that you've canned yourself in, uh, in the mason jars? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you should have dry beans and uh, also rice as well and other things like sugar uh, and, and stuff like that. Flour, flour only lasts for like maybe a year and a half. So uh, going with the, the wheat berries or whole kernels before that has been processed is a way to go with that as well. Also good to have. So yes, um, I would definitely be doing that as well, okay? Uh, and I just found out, now there's uh, Geneseo has, um, an Amish pantry, okay, where and they're open, I think, like on Saturdays. But somebody told me locally here they have a place that's open one day a week where I could go and pick up 15 pound bags of stuff. So I am definitely going to have to check that out because uh, I would like to do that, get some other things. Uh, you know, like I said, I've, I loaded up this last year on uh, a lot of beans, added more rice. And uh, I got a lot of different types of beans as well, so that's always a good thing. But uh, I definitely, there's more things that I want to add to my preps. It never ends. But anyway, so that's, that is that. 
I wanted to talk about real quick today. Uh, I just uh, I've been getting these comments a lot, and there's a couple uh, things that are two two things that continuously pop up. Okay, uh, and both of them are interesting. So I wanted to discuss both of those things. The one is I continue to get people that are very despondent and say, "Why bother? Uh, somebody's just going to come and take all your stuff anyway." So there's no sense of doing it. That is such a negative attitude to have. Um, if you don't have hope of any kind, that is very, very sad, okay? Uh, so you have to have some hope that you can make it what, or, or whatever, okay? You, you have to have that. You, just, you can't just have that mindset of, uh, nope, I give up, forget it. So then you're just waiting to die, in other words, which makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Why would you have that mindset? Uh, it's it's a very very negative thinking, and unfortunately, there's a lot of people that are like that. And a lot of unfortunately, a lot of those people will be the first to die um, because they'll just give up, which is very very sad because it's just not in our nature. Uh, and I hear winds coming. It's not in our nature as human beings just to give up and die. Okay, so. That was the first thing. The second thing that I'm getting a lot of is me and six of my well-trained ex-army buddies are going to come and take your stuff. Uh, I had one say that we'll come and take your stuff. We won't hurt you unless you make us. I mean, just come on, guys. First of all, unless you are local and you are a well-trained veteran locally, and if you have five or six buddies that are also vets, that are trained that are that are local because if you're farther away than let's say a hundred mile radius you are probably not going to make it here now people will say well how do we know where you are it's easy enough to find anybody that's why I don't worry about showing my license plate it's in a lot of videos if somebody really wants to find you they can find you um, Joe from St. Bernard Acres actually said I'll show you how easy it is to find you Ed and he sent me a aerial view from Google Earth of my property so, and Joe didn't have my address. So it's really easy to find anybody. It really, really, truly is. I mean, all I gotta do, if I'm really looking for somebody, let's say if I wanted to go after one of my haters, let's say, uh, you know how easy it is to trace the IP address back to where their location is? I'd go up and knock on their door if I wanted to. That's how easy it is, guys. So, yes. If, if you're a determined individual and you want to find out where I am, you absolutely can do that, okay? So, but at the same time, you know, people have this misconception that, what am I going to sit here in the driveway and go, okay, come on, back that truck up, let me guide you in here so you don't go off and go into the ditch and help me help you load it up. Now, here's the thing too, uh, people think that, you know, yes, this is my homestead. This is where I plan to be if something happens. Now, am I ready to bug out if I have to? Absolutely. If we have, if there was overwhelming numbers coming, which we would probably know well before they got here, you know, we have a game plan. Now, again, I'm not going to share what that is with you guys. <laughs> you know, uh, certain things I'm going to share and certain things I'm not going to share. So that is one of the things, obviously, that I'm not going to share. I do have a game plan. Uh, do we keep all of our preps on site? Nope. But again, it's something else I'm not going to share with you, okay? So, you know, yes, I do have preps on site. Uh, SHTF happens. A lot of those, right after that happens, are even more so going to disappear, okay? Uh, there is a game plan, guys. I do have a game plan. If we have to bug out you know, we'll bug out, you know. Um, that's why I talk about a lot about knowing your wild edibles so that you could forage in the woods. Uh, knowing how to make a fire. So depending on what time of year it is that you could, uh, you know, get a fire going. Knowing some basic fundamental skills like that are going to save your life. Now, I've had people say, well, you know, and I did, I talked about like the FEMA camps and stuff like that and how a lot of people would go. Well, people say, well, they'll hunt you down with drones and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, eventually, here's the thing is, if there's a true SHDF situation, okay, 
excuse me, after the initial things happen, it would be some time before they would come after, if you will, uh, people out in rural areas. Okay, and it'll happen. I, I don't disagree that it wouldn't happen. Uh, you're going to have, by that point, it's going to be the baddest of the bad that are left that are banding together to do raids and to try to take things from others. Okay, but by that point, you know, we would be much more organized, be prepared for whatever to defend if we had to defend and run if we had to run. It would all really depend. It would depend on the numbers. Okay. I don't care how tough you think you are, and I don't think I'm a tough guy, guys. I really don't, okay? But I don't care how tough you are. People start shooting at you. It's going to give you a whole new attitude on how you're going to behave and react, okay? It really, really will. And uh, the strong will survive and the weak will not. That is a realistic thing. I mean, that is absolutely realistic. A lot of people, I don't think, realize what you will have to do to survive in an SHTF situation. And I think along with that, people will say, you know, um, well, why would you want to live? Why would you want to live through that? It's going to be so horrible and stuff like that. The will to live is so strong and it's ingrained in us. So you could sit there and say what you would or would not do uh, ahead of time. And it's easy to say that, especially when our bellies are full. Uh, we have no issues or worries right now, no stressors other than their normal everyday life stressors. <coughs> Excuse me. But in a worst case situation, that will to live is so strong that you will try to survive no matter what. That's just reality. That is absolutely reality. Um, you're not going to just give... No, don't get me wrong. Absolutely. Will there be people that give up and just say, okay, I quit? Absolutely there will be. You know. But anybody that has any kind of backbone you're going to try to survive, regardless if the, ad, the odds are stacked against you, okay? Uh, I had somebody talk about that they were a diabetic and, uh, you know, that insulin would only last for so long refrigerated, and, uh, you know, which is true, you know. you got to try to do the best you can, and that's what I keep telling people. Do the best you can. Preparing for the worst and hoping for the best is all any of us can do, guys. I am not going to sit there and say, this is exactly what's going to happen, or this is exactly how it's going to happen. I have no idea. I'm like anybody else. I just continue to do what I need to do to be as ready as I can possibly be for whatever is coming. And when that time comes, we will deal with it as we go. I have contingency plans. Um, yes, I live at my bug out retreat. Okay, This is where I plan to stay as long as I possibly can. Uh, I've prepared this place for that reason, but there's always has to be a backup to your backup and then another backup to that backup. You have to have contingency plans to be able to be ready to do whatever you necessarily have to do, okay? That's what you got to think about. That's where, you know, we all need to be. Now, certain things, like I said, I'm not going to share with you guys, okay? I will show you part of what I'm doing and what's going on here, and as we, as we make progress here at the homestead, I will show that, okay? But I'm not going to show you everything. It's just, that's just, that's not smart, okay? You know, people say, oh, you're making yourself a target. You're right, I probably am. But my thing is, I have this desire to help people. And I want to help people by showing them that this is possible. So that's what I try to do. There's Mr. Lucy hanging out there, just so you guys see him. So anyway, guys, listen, I have been rambling on here and talking about different things. And just a couple things I just wanted to share with you, okay? Uh, None of us know what's going to happen. We can only hope that things don't go to crap before we're ready. But how? when will we ever be ready, realistically, okay? So just do the best you can. And if you just started prepping, don't be despondent. Just do the best you can. Remember, guys, even if you only have a two-week supply of food and water, you are better prepared than 95% of the people in this country. So that gives you an advantage. Realistically, at the end of the day, that's what we all want. We all want an edge. We all want an advantage. And prepping is the best way to do it. It really, truly is. So anyway, I'm going to jump off here from now. I hope everybody's weekend's going well. Uh, it's been very mild today here. It's in the 50s, low 50s, but nice, nice weather. Um, the water's actually down from where it was yesterday because it's run off now. There's still some, but, you know, it's, it's working its way out of here. 
Um, anyway, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Remember guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever goals you're trying to reach, you can reach them. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself, okay? Nobody else is going to stop you. Oh, um, well, I'll, I'm going to save that for another video, but there's a surprise coming up. So anyway, guys, listen, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Um, again, if you're looking to do the legacy, today's the last day to get the 20% discount. So definitely look at doing that if you're interested, okay? Just follow the link, use the code MEET20, you get 20% off whatever your purchase is. It's well worth it, it really truly is. So I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.